I did not want to make this video, but here we go. Um, what's up, everybody? It's me, Furby Fan, and uh, welcome back to another video about the controversy about Malo Pony and its sixth generation. Um, I just want to say this here and now, but I think this is going to be... I, I, I just... I can't stand this anymore. It's about this whole G5, G4, and G6 controversy. Let's get down to business. Uh, how do I start here? Um, good idea. I, I just want to start from here. The generation that started the whole con fan controversy for um, the beginning of the bronies and etc. Generation 4, aka Friendship is Magic. Because of this, you know, um, hmm. It's all because of Model Pony Friendship is Magic that all these people are now like fan brats of all the Model Little Pony content around here. And, uh, this is gonna sound really cheesy, but I think, you know, there's been a lot of fan brats in, the, in you know, about wanting G4 to continue even after, you know, season 9. But, um, and a lot of people were kind of pissed off that MLP New Generation wasn't great. I beg to differ, the movie was awesome. And the show too, so, um... But, uh, some of you people, you know, just... You just really wanted to stick with the whole Twilight Sparkle, you know, sticking around thing. And, you know, we were just trying to tell a story, you know, Twi Twilight and her friends have been doing episodes for, like, ten years now. You know, Fred News Magic has been going on since 2010, and the show ended in, like, 2019. We were... The show was going to end at some point. You knew there was going to be an ending. So, um, uh, let's speak about the ending real quick, though, too. So, um, the last episode, the ending of the end, where they defeated Chrysalis, Tyrick, and Cozy Glow into the stone imprisonment. And then Twilight grew up to have that coronation thing. And then years later, we get to the events of G5, where um, she makes the Unity Crystals and all that jazz. But, um, what exactly is the point for, you know, all these fan brats to, to, to literally continue bitching and moaning about literally everything Model Pony Frederick's Magic had to offer while G5 was in development. Here's an example, you know, um, there's a lot of people out there who thought G5 was going to suck, and they still think that is to this day. It's just, um, this is going to, this is, uh, I just, I just can't believe these people are out here just doing these, this crap, you know? There's a lot of crap going on around about the, about, there's a lot of toxic bronies out there that wanted, you know, G4 to stick around. And, um, I think Hasbro may have solved the problem here. They announced G6 to have both G4 and G5. But it's just literally in a terrible way. The animation design looks like competition from another TV show from another toy company. Um, sometime around a couple months ago, Jack Specific announced that they were doing a TV show about horses called Wild Mains. And I think that's similar competition. I think Hasbro is just, you know, trying to give the fans what they want, but in a very bad and simple manner. Because us at G5, we are not getting a proper ending to the show like the G like G4 did. Instead, we're getting a rushed ending on YouTube. Uh, because Tell Your Tale is ending next week, so... I know I've said this in a lot of videos before, but um, I, I just want to get this off my chest still, you know? I have all this free time to talk about literally everything that's going on on YouTube right now. <laughs> so, these toxic brony fans that wanted G4 to continue, it's just that, you know, I know G4 was great, but G4 had to end somehow. And uh, now you're ruining the potential for our generation as well, you know, G5, you know? When I first heard about the fifth generation and how great it was going to be, I gave it a chance. Sunny Star Scout and her friends had great character development. When they introduced Misty and Opaline in the TV show, I expected so much more from them, and I absolutely did. There were a lot of characters that I enjoyed from the show, but um, as time went on, you know, you know, the whole generation, you know, just came falling apart. It's just. How do I explain this in terms that people can actually understand? Because I've never really made a, a discussion video about something like this before. So let me put it this way. You've grew up with a generation of ponies from the fourth generation for like about nine years. That's kind of like super long. I mean, a lot of people, you know, tend to enjoy it too. 
Then you have a new generation coming out on Netflix. A lot of people turn to enjoy it. There's a lot of good merchandise. But then there's some people that don't like the show, but they go so far that they have to, you know, rant about it on social media and cause, you know, disarray in the community. Take, for example, the WrestleMania 40 scandal. Originally, the main event was supposed to be Roman Reigns versus The Rock. But a lot of people loved Cody Rhodes and his story. They wanted Cody Rhodes to continue the story. This is also an, exa an example that I'll explain later. I'll explain later on how this also makes sense to, you know, the whole Mile Pony controversy. So, uh, yeah. During this whole, you know, situation on whether it's going to be Cody Rhodes or The Rock at WrestleMania, there was also, you know, a lot of people on Twitter, you know, spammed in Ava Ray's social media. You don't know who that is. That's like the general manager of the NXT. Yeah, Twitter. And The Rock's daughter. No, I don't have Twitter. You're not supposed to have I Twitter. don't have Twitter, Scarlett. I'm explaining something on YouTube. Dad doesn't like us watching inappropriate things. Bro, I don't have Twitter. <laughs> you have to excuse me. Twitter's full of brain rot. We're not supposed to have I don't have Twitter. I'm, ex I'm explaining something else. I don't have it. I don't use Twitter. I'm an Instagram person. But like I said, the general manager of NXT, a.k.a. The Rock's daughter, was spammed all over the place. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, a lot of hate comments from that time. This was like back in April, or uh, I think February, actually. This is how it all started. It all started back in February this year. Um, now the same thing's happening again in the My Little Pony community. This time with the voice actor of Misty Bright Dawn, Valia Watson. She's been getting a lot of hate, so... Uh, this has been a little bit of a, this has been, uh, never in a million years would I see something so toxic in this whole generation community. You just need to suck it up and we were, we were, we were getting to the good stuff by, you know, chapter six when it came out on November of, this, of 2023. So, um, if you guys disrespecting a generation this bad, then what's the big deal? I mean, what is the point of, you know, you were dissing on a whole generation for literally the, uh, the most stupidest reasons. I know, the fourth generation was great, but you gotta let it go, you know? Things have to end at some point, and uh, we have to get on with a new generation, but um, there's a lot of people on the internet that say otherwise, so... I just want to say in general that you people, you disgusting people out there, like... Like, take Kevin Owens, for example, finding Cody Rhodes at the end of Bad Blood Paper Bill. You know, when, when Kevin attacked, you know, Cody Rhodes, it's like, you know... That's like a brony from the, that loves G4 very much attacking the entire G5 community. Or even the official G5 slider itself. You know, it, I, I also beg to differ, this is also kind of Hasbro's fault. Because um, they fired Gillen Barrow, the director of the Make Your Mark series. And our last trope is Tell Your Tale on YouTube. And um, I don't know what Tell Your Tale is going to do at the very end. So um, I hope everyone gets their happy ending. But that is, that is to be determined. But... If we're being completely honest here, um, this generation really went downhill, you know? Uh, uh, another example is no one really cared to appreciate what Chapter 6 had to offer, but I thought Chapter 6 had great story, you know? I wasn't expecting Spike to return and stuff, and, um, you know, they were in inducting another villain, you know? And when Opaline disappeared, in Tell Your Tale, she said she was going to come back from the tree somehow. I don't think we're ever going to see that now. Thanks to you guys on the on social media. So, I just want to say you guys just ruined a very good generation. We were getting to the good stuff, and you guys were impatient as hell, and uh, this is how we got here. So, yeah, this is entirely the Phantom's fault. This is the Phantom's fault, you know. This is like the go-anime, you guys are like the go-anime community right now. There's a lot of toxic crap going on in the go-anime community, a.k.a. the VOD community. But also, I'm here. Oh, hi. Um, you want a snack? I'll fix you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I need you to leave. I'm talking about something very dire here and it has mild profanity, so I don't want you to copy those words. So I'm going to need you to go for a minute. This is literally like the last video I made. I, I, I swear to God, if th this keeps happening right now, if you keep showing up, I'm going to have to end these videos this very soon, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to delete all the videos and, you know, just, I just hope my mom doesn't find out you're, you're, you're in these videos, okay? I seriously want you to go back. Or she's just playing Roblox.
What do you want? Like, well, I don't want you to play this. I'm in the middle of a video right now. And also, it was already been three hours. Oh. Well, uh, due to William Wingfield being here, I'm going to have to stop this video to avoid profanity issues. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please, uh, you guys ruined a terrible community, and uh, there's a lot of more videos I've made about about the situation on YouTube. But um, I have nothing else to say because um, I don't want to I don't want to make William say more bad words. So, um, thank you for watching. I guess. Oh, and by the way, in case you don't know, I'm Cody Rhodes in the gameplay. I'm Cody Rhodes in the gameplay because of why not? After all, why not? Why shouldn't I be Cody Rhodes right now? Cody Rhodes is awesome. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so. Thanks a lot, William. Now I have to start over.